there is a lot of concern in the country about two laws that have been passed by parliament, namely the Online Safety Bill, Terrorism Anti-Terrorism Bill. The Online Safety Bill has today, I believe, uh, been signed, signed off by the Speaker to the House of Parliament, so it is an act now. Both these, I shall not go into the details as they have been debated, talked about, uh, there have been street protests about, against these, uh, so I think uh, people who are interested know the details about it. But my view as a senior citizen is that they are both very serious uh, acts. They, are, they violate the fundamental rights of the citizen very dangerously and they give undue authority to governments to harass citizen, citizens who may be acting democratically, using their democratic rights to criticize governments, to protest against acts of government in a democratic manner. So I appeal to the government to withdraw these acts. There are people, senior lawyers and others who have gone to the courts of law, they are appealing to the courts, to the better judgment of the judges against these acts. But it will be much easier if the government itself withdraws these acts. We are aware that we have been told that the country is bankrupt with a few previous governments. And this present government is trying hard to stabilize the economy and bring about economic development again. We have a long way to go, but I believe we have started well. For this, Sri Lanka needs the fullest support of our friends abroad, of, our, of the friendly nations, of the international organizations, and we have got a huge amount of support from the international community. This kind of act and what could happen, what the government could do under these acts can be very destructive to the government's economic programs. We have seen what this government did against the young people who protested during the Arab who protested democratically. I hasten to add here, I do not hold any brief or talk about those the extremist factors that came in that were, I think, introduced into this Arab which was doing a very noble thing to do extremist acts to carry out extremist acts, burn houses and all that. In no way do I condone that, but I'm talking about the, the, the overall message of the Arakaya, the people's right to protest when governments are misgoverning the country. And this government, once it came in, started arresting some of the young people who were not the extremists. Continuously, the waves of arrest, obviously, to, to terrify people. A few days ago, there was a protest on the streets, a peaceful protest, which was attacked by the by the forces. Uh, I don't know whether it was the police or the armed forces or who it was. Tear gassed and chased away. They had the right to protest and walk on the roads. So, as a person who has, from a very young age, protested on the streets, democratically, mm -hmm. with my my political associates, I think this is horrendous, and these acts will give undue authority to the government to indulge in anti-democratic acts to violate fundamental rights of the individual and of groups of people. So I think the citizens must take note of this very seriously. Some people have, but a majority of them have to take note of this and not condone this kind of act. The demand from the government democratically, this will be drawn. Thank you.